hello everyone good afternoon good afternoon this is afternoon yeah you're welcome to my channel is your gay mary jane of lady jane concept tv okay you all know what we're about to talk we talk about the happenings in italy and in nigeria as well and uh, uh, more especially on our, us our young mothers here in italy we always talk about how to how we benefit and how we contribute to the society we are in okay as you all know, I always talk about uh, how to get things done, especially young mothers with kids of primary, nursery, and secondary school level, or even university. And last time I, I talked about uh, how to get uh, help for, with this uh, Corona COVID-19 problem, how to get help, okay? I, I, made, made, I made mention of uh, so many things regarding how who we get and who we not get. As I said earlier, I will, I'm not eligible, but I did. And right now they called me, they were accepted, but they didn't give me the exact amount they're supposed to give because already I am not, I'm a kind of not qualified. But considering the amount of children where I get, the number of children, you know, they considered me. So that's why I always uh, advise you people to try. Try to, uh, as in to do demand to try to appear uh, as in ask okay nobody will, will punish you for asking okay rather they will just tell you no or yes they even called me on phone my local man called me on phone and asked me some certain questions you know i responded at the last one they gave me some money you know really fiscal cash but a card that i can use to go and do shopping in my area that is alipay that's the nearest market here and the smaller one called b2 so back again today today i'm here to tell you guys that we are okay we thank god i've done my own test i'm waiting for the results okay because i work in health center so it's composite they came to our workplace and do everybody there uh, so if not that i work there i wouldn't have done it because it's not really if you're sitting at home you don't need to do it it's just that i go to work and uh, i'm exposed to danger so that's why i did it i'm waiting i just did it some hours ago i'm waiting for my results okay I pray to be negative. So in, uh, uh, today, I want to inform us, young mothers, about uh, the how to get about uh, materials, uh, didactic materials in Italian language. That is in English, it's called uh, electronic materials like tablets, uh, um, phone, uh, Wi-Fi to help our kids study at home this period. But you all know that uh, they're already closed for holidays, for Easter holidays. Yes, they're at home now. But well, very soon, maybe Tuesday and Wednesday, the study will resume. Now, the, the electronic uh, site is uh, closed, you know, it's temporarily closed because of Easter holidays. But the moment uh, they resume, everything starts, assignment starts. Okay, so today's topic is, uh, today's discussion is on how to go about asking for demand. Because you are, if you have kids that are in school and you don't have tablet for them to do assign the assignment, some mothers have only their phone. So, you know, sometimes you may want to go to the supermarket and you'll be forced to leave your phone at home because I used to do it. Or you may have to divide the convert your internet with them. They may not have, you know. So you are eligible to apply for a tablet. Yes, the school will give you. And uh, if you are if you don't have internet, so they don't want to they don't want to hear any reason why there should not be any reason why your kids are not participating. Okay? You know, here they always reach out to people that extend their hand. You can't just sit down and expect them. To call you, you are the one that we call. If you don't know, ask your fellow uh, migrants. You know they know, especially me. I'm always, I'm always want to know what to do, how to get it. Even even if there is no demand, I'll make them to to have demand. Because I remember when I, I was here, there was no no language school. I had to go to local government. I, I tell them I want to do Italian language because they say there's no no i should go far i should go to rovigo i tell them i cannot go there i don't have means of going that was 15 years ago i had to they also told me on one condition that they can bring the the language school here that if you're up to 10 i had to start going around asking some friends that are migrants morocco people um albanese people i started asking them after school i would just stop them maybe in the morning if they come to pick their bring their children to school I just stop and ask them please will you come that was how I got up to 12 people and they started it. They invited some teachers from the city to come and teach us. You know, if you don't, in this country, if you don't make your your problem known, it will be remain with you. And you don't go about chatting, I am. I don't have any help, I don't do this, I don't do that. No, it's you that I don't want to. Heaven helps those who help themselves, okay? So back to the topic of discussion. I told the school that uh, 
uh, I need it. So they asked me to ask for it already. Some 30 parents have already asked. So I made a, I went to the site, website, I, I copied their email address. I made a request writing my, the things I need. And also, uh, if you don't need uh, something like tablet, you can still use your phone. But if you don't have internet, maybe unlimited internet to do it, you can also ask them. Tell them you don't have internet. Maybe they will give you reimbursement. Maybe if you if you are using let me say you are using team or wind you can subscribe for more data and keep the receipt. Maybe you can just tell them the the one you use. I don't know. Just try and lay your problem. Or maybe if you don't have a printer, or maybe if you don't have how to print out the the question papers in the assignment, tell them whatever they will help you. Maybe they even tell you come down in front of school by so 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 hour and collect something like this just don't sit at home with the excuse of i don't have internet my children cannot do i cannot print even even this demand for sustain your covid edition of covid 19 so many people don't have printer but they made it accessible to them they give the appointment from 11 to, to 1 every day to come to the to the local government and collect it they still attend to people that uh cannot access it from their home people that don't have printer people that don't have access to internet they don't just leave you like that you have to raise your hand up so that they can help you out okay because a woman called me and asked me to print it for her i was ready to do it for her but i cannot take it to her house i cannot go to her house. so i told her call the local government maybe they will help you she called me back yesterday and was telling me while she went there they helped her even some people they come to their house with the solution they so try to reach out okay as you all know uh, as I was saying, I just wrote, made a demand for a tablet and the data, more data, because these kids, they need to study, they need to do in YouTube uh, studies, they need to do Skype video, like my children, they always play do their music online, their teacher will be directing them, marking them, they play the, the word that plays jitter. The teacher will be monitoring how he plays. The one that plays piano, the teacher will be monitoring how she plays, you know. So there's not a, they, they, they are at home studying. It's even now that they have more assignment, more competitive than before. It's just that they are at home, but they, they study no more than mine, okay? It means that you don't stop at all. Ciao! Like, like I was greeting my friend. So, as I'm saying, try to call your school. But now, nah, today is Good Friday, so nobody is there. Maybe by... Tuesday when it's a call the school, tell them your problem, okay? Tell them you you don't have internet or you don't have this. Internet. They will now know how to help you, even if it means them. As I said before, calling you out, you can still go there, but you have to follow the instructions strictly on the instruction, okay? Okay, that is my own contribution this morning. Another thing, there's a form that is about from out from the Nigeria Embassy for those that want to go home. Me, I no go. Me na tell na 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 gabu hari say me a day okay here. Because the the people that come back from London, I had that one old woman that's about seventy years. They they dumped her in a bush where she died. It's not even Corona that killed her. She just died because of the place she found herself. Ami, they still kill you. If you come back there in Nigeria, they will just be shooting people. Most people that died in Nigeria this way is not even Quran, it's Buhari government that killed them. So I'm gonna help me tell on a Buhari, say me I did okay here. Yeah. I know they come anywhere. But one call Nigeria go just sneak in and sneak out because I they fear Buhari, I they fear APC, I they fear their kidnapper, they fear their hasemen. Okay? That is it. If you want, I can send you the, the they say you have to apply before fourteenth, I'll be tenth of April. Uh -huh. So I can send you the form so that you can file fill it and they apply. The, and until you have your ticket to you, go buy a ticket for your, by yourself. Not be saying I then go help you. So that is the information around now. Okay. As you all know, I always don't want to make my videos long. I always want to talk more, talk less and do more. Okay, sorry. So as you all know, I always ask you people to do me a favor to subscribe to my channel. Just touch that red button. Yes, that red button. Yeah, like, just click on it. It's not gonna harm you. Okay, just click on it. The hand will you take touch that button go go bless that hand okay you go bless you go bless your anything you touch with that hand you used to touch that red button god will bless you stay safe please i know it's not easy staying indoors these days i know that we don't have light enough we don't have enough storage facilities but it's still better to be alive because if we defied our government and come out they will see we will suffer it and if peradventure somebody god forbid get sick this same government will not help you so it's better you stay indoors if you want to come out come out to your street and buy the things you want to buy and go in until it's all over 
obey the law so that you won't get hurt okay nigeria we all know that they don't care for us so there's no need lamenting crying call your call out to your neighbors you can even cook food and condivide as in the condivide it means sharing with your neighbors okay and may god bless you as you do so please drop that click on that red button and drop your like okay click right thumb up may god bless you as you support my ministry you know i'm struggling i'm starting so i need people to support me may god bless you as you do so thank you very much and remain blessed ciao ciao